And one of the things that antidepressants do is bolster their resistance to that propagation of catastrophe. Because that's like, that's hallmarks of depression. And you're talking specifically about SSRIs? Yes. Yes. So, I, no, I don't believe that they make, there's no evidence, for example, that they make psychopaths worse or, worse, or that they tilt people into kind of psychopathy, psychopathic behavior because they decrease negative emotion. I know no literature that indicates that. And people are very interested in such things. It would be studied. Yeah, people are interested in that correlation. Yes, but, but that doesn't mean that there's no single person to whom that ever happened. Right, right? got it. But it's, that isn't, that's not a behavioral consequence of SSRIs in, or even of serotonin itself. So because then is... you'd also have to say that raising someone's serotonin level, which does make them more calm, by the way, like less prone to negative emotion, because as you move up a hierarchy, mm -hmm. you produce more serotonin. And the consequence of that is that threatening things become less threatening. Well, they should, because the higher you are in hierarchy, the less dangerous it is. Right. Right. And so, and so partly you can destabilize people by threatening their position in the hierarchy because you dysregulate the structure. You dysregulate their claim to valid occupation of that position. And then you destabilize their nervous systems. That's partly, say when, let's say, you see this in academia, a new a young faculty member comes in for a job talk and lays out his theory, and an upstart graduate student puts up his hand and pokes a hole in the idea. You might say, well, the professor on stage gets taken aback and is destabilized because his theory has been challenged, and he uses the theory to protect himself against anxiety. That's kind of a terror management idea. Mm. But that isn't what happens. Not exactly. It's close, man. It's real close. What happens is the young faculty member comes in using his claim to valid knowledge as an indicator of his suitability for that position. So I'd say, I know a bunch of things that are useful, that I can use in trade, and because of that, I, I'm, it's, I'm justified in occupying this position. And so then the student stands up and says, you're a fraud, you don't deserve that position. And it's the specter of the loss of the position, the hierarchical position, that's destabilizing, mm -hmm. not the threat to the integrity of the belief system. Now there can be some of both, right? right. But but the reason that people don't like to lose faith is because it undermines their moral claim to their position. Hmm. And people hate that. And no wonder, like, because that is really a, that's a severe threat. You're a fraud. Like, to have that revealed means that the system could validly take away your position. Well, the terror management theorists regard your theory as a defense against death anxiety. But your position is actually a defense against death. Not just death anxiety. It's like, that's your space in the, in the culture. Mm -hmm. That's why people don't stone you. That's why you're a valid member of society. That's how you make your living. That's not an illusion. That is actually the structure that defends you against catastrophe. And the part of what the mob does is come up to people continually, especially from the left, but the right can do it too. And they certainly have done it, in, if you look back at any reasonable stretch of history. But the left comes up and says, you're a white supremacist, racist oppressor, part of this patriarchal system. You have no moral claim whatsoever to the position you occupy. Well, that just strips people, you know, especially if they're good people. So they think, oh, I need a moral claim to this position. Well, it's also often disingenuous because all they're trying to do <laughs> is silence you. All they're trying to do no, is defuse no, you. No, no, they're also trying to hurt and yes, destroy you. Destroy you, but they're, they're also <laughs> trying to stop you from being a valid member of the conversation. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And they're trying to undermine the idea of merit itself because maybe they're not yes. living particularly meritorious lives. And most so likely. the light shines on them in their darkness. Yes, most yeah. likely. Yeah, yeah. That, we that's... are four hours in here. <laughs> so I think we should probably wrap this bad, bad boy up. Bring it